We're in New Hall, California, uh, right out this direction. Right out here is where George Spawn is buried. It's a pretty windy day here today. So I think what I'll do is, instead, instead of uh, doing this video down there in the wind, where it really affects my microphones, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll just sit here and tell a story. And then at the end, uh, we can go down there and uh, visit uh, George Spawn's gravesite. Uh, by the way, no notes. I don't use any notes doing these videos. Uh, George C. Spawn, the C stands for Christian, has a tough childhood. Uh, his dad dies when he's two years old. Uh, uh, born in Pennsylvania his mother remarries now like a lot of uh, stepfathers George didn't get along with his uh, when he got older um, he would see his stepfather abusing his mother now his stepfather was an alcoholic now I've been around them there's two kinds uh, the really nice one that wants to give you everything, their pickup truck, money, uh, wants to give you the world. Then there's the other one, the mean drunk, the abusive mean drunk. Well, his stepfather was brutal, very abusive to George, a young George Spawn, and also to George's mother. As soon as George was able, he got out of the house, a pretty smart businessman. Uh, started out life pretty well. Uh, in fact, when he was 30, he owned 86 acres of land in Pennsylvania. So what he did, he turned uh, this farm into a, a dairy farm. So he had several head of dairy cows or dairy cattle, uh, whatever, uh, horses. And he starts a, uh, a milk route. He's a milkman, so he's delivering milk. He's, he's, got, he's got a pretty good business. Now this is in the early 20s when he does this. He's doing pretty well. Uh, he, and he's got a uh, housekeeper. He's a single guy. He has a housekeeper, which he ended up marrying uh, when he was 30 years old. Uh, when he married her, she had one child. Now, after they're married, they had nine or ten more kids, if you can imagine that. It was a large, large family. Uh, things are going real well. Uh, however, uh, George Spawn always thought that when I get a chance, I want to get out of this snow, ice, slushy snow, brutal cold weather. Because although he enjoyed the milk business, he liked the people, he liked delivering a product to them. Uh, you know, he's having a hard time, uh, you know, dealing with the country roads and, and everything else. So, um, so along comes the stock, stock market crash in 1925. Everything falls apart. The customer doesn't have the funds to pay for the milk. Uh, George felt guilty collecting milk money, if you will, uh, from people who, who he knew were struggling. So, uh, go west, young man, go west. So he sells off the 86 acres. He's got enough money to move himself, his uh, new bride, and all the kids out west here. They come out west, they come out to Los Angeles area. Uh, George hears about this movie ranch for sale out here in Chatsworth, which is out this direction. So he thought that would be a lot of fun uh, to buy that movie ranch. Um, so he buys it, 1953, 1953. And he's renting, uh, he, he, you know, he's renting the property out to uh, Hollywood and they're making Western movies. Well, around 1965, uh, the, the uh, movie industry kind of changed. They no longer make 
uh, too many Western movies, so he wasn't able to rent the property out like he once did. Uh, things were getting tough. So in 1966, he has to file bankruptcy. And the place is falling apart. And also, he's getting, he got a divorce. So he's out there all by himself now. Now let's see if we can see how the wind is now. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, make our way down there. So 1966, bankruptcy, the place is falling apart. He's out there by himself. And uh, along comes around 1969, uh, three years after the bankruptcy, along comes this guy named Charles Manson. I'm still getting a lot of wind. Uh, Charles Manson, the Manson family. So what he does, uh, just like he did with Barker Ranch, uh, Charlie talks himself into uh, moving in and having free rent. So at first, old George doesn't want anything to do with him. He's a little bit scared, you know, of, uh, of the hippie look. Uh, George is old school. At this point, he's about 80 years old. So definitely old school. But Charlie uh, talks himself in to the property by saying, you know, we can help you fix this place up. We can help you with the horses. Uh, 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 these girls here, I want you to meet these girls. I think you'll like them. And they can help you out. They can clean and cook and uh, take care of uh, uh, you. And uh, we can get the property up and going. Uh, you can get these horses rented out and you can have an income. We can help you, you can help us. Uh, George uh, still wasn't completely uh, convinced. So Slick Charlie uh, brings up a girl by the name of Lynette Fromm to meet him. And uh, George is nearly blind, but you know, he liked Lynette, and uh, uh, Charlie says, hey, all your needs will be met. We'll take care of your house cooking. All your personal needs will be met. So George takes him up on it. Takes him up on it. So that's how they got on Spawn Ranch. So let, I'm going to go and walk down to the grave location, and we'll finish up this video. Okay, now we're at the grave location, George Spawn. Uh, to his left is Martha, uh, his ex house or his housekeeper, I guess we can say. Uh, George Spawn died in 1974. He lived on a ranch about another year after everything fell apart with the Manson family. And he dies in an old folks' home in Van Nuys. California. I should say assisted living facility. Uh, they call it something differently now. Uh, also, it was George Spawn who put nicknames on everybody, such as Tex Watson, uh, Squeaky From. Uh, uh, the word is she would squeak when he would uh, run his hand up her thigh or, or calf, I guess. Sexy Sadie. It wasn't Manson that put nicknames on people. It was George Spawn, uh, for, from what I've read. If you want to come out and pay your respects, uh, this is 14 out this way. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get out there. That's 14. Uh, this is 14 going north or south. Then you got 14 going north. And if you go about 40 miles, you run in Lancaster, California. 
Now to get to Old George, you come in the main, the main entrance, and you follow this road up. And you, uh, if you stop right here at this trash can, and I know the wind is just killing me. You can park at this trash can and just walk right over to George Spawn. 